So throughout this video, you're going to see that I changed shirts three times, and that shows you how long it's actually taken to get this video out. I keep running into problems. I finally got a final product, I uploaded it, and someone left a comment saying that the video just froze at the end. So I went back into my archives, checked the video out, and something happened during editing. Oh, so I had to go back, edit this clip in, re-edit that clip in, and make sure everything works, and then I can finally re-upload it. So uh, if you guys already saw the video up on YouTube, that's because it was. I think about 75 of you actually saw the video before I took it down. So it's back up now, as you can see. And hopefully I went through, checked out the ending, and everything works well now. If you catch another error, go ahead, please leave a comment. I would really appreciate it because that's how I know when stuff is wrong with the videos. You guys leave the comments and it really helps me out. Also, don't forget to leave a thumbs up for this video because I keep having issues with either someone subscribed to me just to hate on me or I'm having issues with bots. Either way, help me out, put a like on that video. Thanks a lot guys, hope you enjoy. What's up guys, welcome to another installment of AA Computers and Technology. And if you couldn't tell, I'm actually reshooting this section of the video. So the, for the next couple minutes, the lighting's gonna be really great, picture's gonna be nice and clear, because I just replaced the lighting right here with a 100 watt equivalent LED light bulb, uh, outputting 1200 lumens. It wasn't the highest I could get. I could get up to a 1700 lumen light bulb, uh, but I thought that would be way too bright. I would be blinded every time I looked up at it. It'd be like the sun coming down on me inside this room. So let's go ahead and get started. Today we're gonna be taking a look at Windows 7 running on various amounts of RAM. I know we already did this once, but that was only with 512 megabytes. Today we're gonna be taking a look at Windows 7 running on uh, 384 megabytes, 256 megabytes, and hopefully 128 megabytes of PC133 SD RAM. So when I initially started creating this video, I wasn't really sure how I wanted to present it, either in one big video or dividing it up into clips. Uh, and I eventually just decided to divide it up into three separate videos, each for the different amounts of RAM we will be testing, because if I mashed it all into one video, it'd be way too much footage to work with, um, and then it would just be way, way, way too long. The, the final product would probably, be, uh, probably end up being about 45 minutes, so I don't think you guys want to sit through that. So we're going to cut this up into three separate videos. Hopefully in each video, the system boots into Windows 7, so it actually becomes a video. Um, if the system fails to boot, I'm just not going to publish the video, um, and it might fail to boot with 128 megabytes of PC133 SD RAM because I'm not really sure um, if Windows is capable of, um, of using that just from uh, past testing. Anyway, that's enough of the introduction. Let's go ahead and get started. The machine T1090 is sitting right under the camera now. Let's go ahead and take it out and check out the system hardware so you guys know what we are working with throughout this entire video. I'm going to read off some of the system specifications, but um, if you guys want to see more specs on this system, I do have a video on it, so you can go ahead and check it out in the description. Uh, and then I did try to run the Windows Experience Index rating on this system, and that just failed, unfortunately. I don't think there's enough RAM to run the system tests, so we're not going to be able to check out the score. Sorry, guys. Let's go ahead and begin. I was struggling to get some more lighting over here so we could take a better look at the system, but I finally found this lamp and dragged it over. I think I did this in my last video too with the, eight, the uh, Gateway 832 GM uh, because you just can't see a thing inside these systems unless you have proper lighting. Uh, so I dragged that over here. Now we can finally get some decent footage out of this. Uh, this is just going to be some basic system specifications. Going to go over a couple things. If you want an in-depth overview of this eMachine T1090, you can go ahead and check out my overview on my channel. Link will be in the description so you guys can go ahead and watch that and get some more system specifications. But right under this 320 watt Diablo Tech power supply, you can see the CPU heatsink for our Intel Celeron Coppermine processor running at 900 megahertz. You can see our PC133 SD RAM installed right here. Depending on which uh, video you are watching, it's going to vary. Uh, right now, there is 384 megabytes installed, but once again, depending on which part of the series this is, um, it's going to be uh, either lower or at uh, this amount. And then right here, you can see our Vision Tech 7000 video card. Now, the drivers will not install on Windows 7. People always get me about that and I tell them over and over and over again the drivers for this video card do not work with Windows 7 so please no complaints about that in the comments. Uh, we're just going to use the uh, already installed or, or the generic Windows video driver for this demonstration. To the right, you can see a 20 gigabyte Seagate hard drive, but I have been having some issues with this drive. So instead of booting Windows 7 off this hard drive, let's move over here. Ah, if you're one of my subscribers, you already know what this is. Uh, but this is a 
2.5 inch floppy with plop installed on it and this will allow us to boot Windows 7 from this USB flash drive. At this point we are ready to get started and boot Windows 7 off 384 megabytes of RAM. So let me go ahead and hook everything back up. As you can see, this absolute mess right here. Uh, I originally had the system set up with everything, but I had to pull it out uh, and disconnect all the cables. So I got to take the time to put it all back together and then we'll be able to see if Windows 7 will boot with just 384 megabytes of RAM installed. I'm going to try to shoot this in one continuous take so you guys don't think I am lying to you. There's not going to be any, you know, video editing voodoo going on here. So let's go ahead and turn on the system. I'm going to go into the BIOS and show you guys that there is indeed 384 megabytes of RAM installed on the system. And right here, if you look towards the bottom, you can see 384 megabytes of RAM are registered in the system. So let's go ahead and boot up into Windows 7. Um, I have our USB flash drive already plugged into the system. Uh, and if I didn't mention this before, uh, there is a USB 2.0 card installed on this computer because it is just painful trying to get Windows to run off a USB 1.1 port. Okay, so exit discarding changes. We're going to boot into the plop interface first. And then from here, I need to select boot from USB. And here we go, and I'm not going to time how long it takes to uh, get to the desktop. I mean, you guys can look at the counter at the bottom and uh, time it yourself if you're really interested. Um, I don't really see a point because I know it's just going to take forever. Um, <laughs> and hopefully it doesn't extend this video too long. But here we go, the starting Windows logo is coming up and hopefully we see the uh, icon start swirling around here in just a moment. I'm not going to mess with uh, the timing on this or anything. I'm not going to speed it up uh, because I do want to see the uh, actual boot time. I'm just not going to time it. <laughs> All right, so the icon has popped up. And I think from here, we actually should be good. Hopefully. I hope I didn't jinx it. All right. And I do have our Logitech mouse plugged into one of the USB ports. And it looks like it's going to boot. Ah, ta-da! And we are at the desktop. Not too bad. Not bad at all. And from here, I'm just going to demonstrate one or two programs running on the system. We're not going to browse the web or anything because this computer is just not capable of that with the amount of RAM we have installed. I mean, any browser that we bring up is just going to crash. And I just realized I had the uh, mouse turned off, so uh, now I should be registering. Uh, but let's go ahead and bring up the task manager real quick and see uh, what our system resources look like. And actually, it's not that bad. Look at our memory. Our memory usage is sitting around 250 megabytes. Let me go ahead and zoom in. I'm not sure how well that's coming out on camera. All right, there you go. We can you can see that we are sitting at 242 uh, megabytes of RAM at idle. So let's go ahead and start opening up some programs. I don't have anything installed on this uh, particular image of Windows, so we're just going to use the uh, stock Windows programs, whatever we have on here. Uh, the first one I really want to open up is WordPad. Don't ask me why. It's, it just it's just the first thing that popped into my head. And I think I'm going to keep this standard throughout all three videos. So. Uh, same programs every single time. So we're going to start out with WordPad. Let's see how much RAM that uses. And if the system uh, crashes, no. No, we're sitting at 275 megabytes of RAM. Let's just try typing something. Hello, YouTube. Because that's what we always type. All right, uh, can I manipulate the font? It's actually uh, pretty smooth. I'm surprised. I thought it was just going to be an absolutely horrible experience, but uh, everything's working fine so far. I mean, I doubt this thing would be able to browse the web. That would just be uh, absolutely painful, but 
you know, basic office programs like this, it appears uh, we would be fine with just 384 megabytes of RAM. And uh, let's try opening multiple programs at the same time. So I'm going to leave that open in the background. And uh, let's go ahead and bring up Internet Explorer. As I said, we are not connected to uh, to any sort of uh, wireless interface. We don't have any sort of wireless interface connected. Um, so we're not going to be able to connect to uh, uh, any servers or anything like that and browse the web. Ask me later. I don't care. Maximize this. What are you going to try to go to? Oh, Microsoft.org. Of course you would. <laughs> Yeah, and our, uh, we're getting close to our RAM limit. We are at 282 megabytes of RAM. I'm just going to keep on opening programs until we max it out just to, uh, just to see what will happen. So the next thing, let's go ahead and open Solitaire. Oh, okay, we don't care. We are at 315, 16 megabytes of RAM right now. All right, system hasn't really started to slow down too much yet. Let's go ahead and what else would use quite a bit of RAM? How about paint? 325 megabytes of RAM right now. Let's just try drawing something. And this is absolutely nothing. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. And what else can we open up? All right. If this doesn't do it, I don't know what will. Let's try opening up the media player. Recommended settings. Oh. And here we go, the system has maxed out on RAM. We just got the Microsoft Windows error message. So we hit our limit right now. We have about, uh, how many programs do we have open? Two, four, five, six programs open all at once with 384 megabytes of RAM and it finally gave up. So uh, it actually performed really well. All right, so that's gonna be about it for this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, just post a comment in the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And of course, please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, don't forget to check out the other two videos. I will put the links in the descriptions um, as well. And if there's a failure, you know, I'll, I'll let you guys know in one of the videos. But uh, I think uh, Windows should boot on uh, down to 128 megabytes of RAM, but we'll see about it. Don't take my word for it. Uh, go ahead and check out the next installment, uh, and then you can see for yourself if it actually does boot with 128 megabytes of RAM and then 256 megabytes of RAM. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next installment of AA Computers and Technology.